And we're back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast, bringing you our fifth and final segment for today's show, which is going to be talking about everyone's favorite topic, the Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame induction ceremony in Cooperstown, New York, was yesterday. Superstars that I watched growing up, like Joe, Joe Maurer, Adrian Beltre, got in, as well as Jim Leland also got in. So, uh, yeah, that was all very exciting. Uh, very served, I'd say. Adrian Beltre, I think, is a top five third baseman of all time. Absolutely should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. Was the correct choice to get in their first ballot. And was also one of the most beloved players of all time. I mean, he's had such funny moments within baseball. Was such a great ambassador for the game. I really did wish he'd win more in his career. But very happy for him to get in the Hall of Fame. But we are getting sidetracked a little bit here. So, it is now talk about the 2025 ballot. You know, I didn't get a chance to talk about the 2024 ballot. And just, you know, because that induction ceremony happened before. I was on the show, I believe. So I did want to just talk about 2025 and go over some of the notable players on the ballot and if I think they should get in, what I think their cases are, and yeah, just going over that. So let's get into it. So first off, we of course have Felix Hernandez from the Seattle Mariners. Hernandez is an interesting one because he had one of the best peaks, I'd say, of any baseball pitcher ever, but he never won. He barely ever made the playoffs. I don't even know if he did make a playoffs with this Mariners scene, which, yes, it isn't his fault, but that's going to matter to voters. And it's also his peak wasn't that high. I mean, you know, it was, you know, maybe 10, it was like 10 years or so. At the end, it really got bad. I'd say starting in 2017, it really got bad from the years of, though, I would say 2009 to 2015, he was maybe the best pitcher in all of baseball. And other than that, he was solid outside of those last few years, but still wasn't outstanding. So Hernandez is a very interesting one. Now, unfortunately for Felix, I lean towards the no part of it. I think, again, his peak was absolutely outstanding, but just the way that he could have pitched a longer career, never really won, and you know didn't have the greatest end to his career, and his peak was kind of short, I think that it is kind of a no for me. I love Felix, a great player of this game. Again, was buddies with Adrian Beltre, so of course, always had a great time there with them. But I think that if there was a Hall of Very Good, Hernandez would get in, and that's where I would put him in. But overall, I think that if I think that he does get in, honestly, at some point, ten tries a lot. People grew up watching him, the new voters, so I'm, I'm sure that'll factor in. And again, he was liked by voters, and whether we want to whether we want to admit it or not, being liked by the BBWAA does mean a lot for your status. So I think he does end up getting in. I don't think he is a Hall of Famer, but I also don't think it's a travesty if he, if he does get in. I think it's very borderline for me, and I could really convince either way. Next, we have Ian Kinsler, who, of course, was one of the best second basemen in all of baseball during his time. Kinsler, to me, is going to be a no. I don't really think that Kinsler is a Hall of Famer. I, I really don't think that um, he should be in this conversation whatsoever. I think Kinsler was a really good player throughout his career, but I don't think he came anywhere ever close to being a Hall of Famer. Um, the highest OPS plus he ever had in his career was 2008 with 134, and that was his peak. Um, he had some really rough seasons at the end, and I don't think he had an outstanding peak. I really think he had some good seasons here and there, and you know, he had he played really good defense second base as well, but I, I don't think Kinsler's a Hall of Famer. I don't really know why he's in this conversation, to be perfectly honest, as much as I like him. And, uh, yeah, I don't think that he is a Hall of Famer. Sorry, Kinsler. I know I'm kind of being mean there, but I think overall that's kind of what we have to look at here for the Hall of Fame and just talk about it. I think, honestly, I think too many people get in nowadays, and I think we kind of have to step step out of that. Next, we have another one that is very interesting, Dustin Pedroia of the Boston Red Sox. Pedroia, honestly, I'm going to go with a yes. I think his peak wasn't very high, but I think it was great. I mean, he won an MVP within his career, um, within his fourth year in the league, had a really outstanding year, had, you know, was great, played a great second base for this Red Sox team, and is a two-time World Series champion. Silver Slugger, Gold Glover, one of the best defenders we've seen at second base in a long time, is an MVP. And I think this is a guy who maybe gets in on the ninth or 10th portion of the ballot, but I still think should get in. I think the way his peak was, the way, how important he was to those winning Red Sox teams, I think winning matters, I think was very important. And yeah, just overall, I think that Pedroia should be a Hall of Famer, but also I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a yes or no definitively. I think that you could argue yes, you could argue no, but I do think he is. Next two, 
Uh, first off, CC Sabathia. This is an easy yes to me. I think Sabathia is one of the greatest left-handed pitchers to ever play this game. Was great with Cleveland. Was one of the best deadline trades ever with Milwaukee. Was outstanding with the Yankees throughout his career. Was consistently good as well. I mean, pitched he was 38 and really never had that down of a season, even when he was injured. Um, I think that overall, Sabathia is definitely a Hall of Famer. He's a Cy Young Award winner. Won a World Series with that Yankees team. Overall, just had a great, great, consistent career. And I think that Sabathia should be a Hall of Famer. He's one of the greatest left-handed pitchers ever. And 100% should be in the Hall of Fame. I assume he'll go in as a Yankee. But I would be interested to see if it's a Yankee or a Guardian. I assume it's a Yankee. But, yeah, obviously, I do think Sabathia should be a Hall of Famer. Ichiro's next, obviously. I mean, who is saying no to Ichiro? Who is going to say Ichiro is not a Hall of Famer, right? Like... He's one of the most beloved players of all time. He's one of the greatest players of all time, factoring in international status as well. If you don't think Ichiro's a Hall of Famer, never watch baseball again. I'm sorry. I don't understand how you could think Ichiro's not a Hall of Famer. It's Ichiro. Like, no no need to go into the stats or deep dive here. It's Ichiro. He's a Hall of Famer. Next, we have Carlos Beltran. Beltran, to me, is a no-doubt Hall of Famer. You look at Beltran's stats... You'll be surprised at how good he was in his his career. Maybe I'm biased, I'm a Mets fan, and he played the majority of career with, his, with the Mets, and I do think he'd go in the Hall of Fame as a Met, but he was an outstanding, outstanding player. I think Beltran is easily a Hall of Famer. He's maybe the greatest position player in the history of the Mets organization, and yeah, I think he's easily a Hall of Famer. He did not go in first ballot, I think, because of his... his because of his involvement in the Astro shooting scandal, which is, I think is fine. He stripped him of the title of being a first ballot Hall of Famer, but still put him in. I think that's, a, I think that's, you know, even though I don't think that the cheating scandal was as big of a deal as some people make it out to be, I do think that's a fair punishment. But I think he should get in, and I think he should be a Hall of Famer. Andre Jones is next. I think he's also a Hall of Famer. Was a great hitter. Was maybe the greatest defensive center field we've ever seen. I think Jones should 100% be in a Hall of Famer, and I think he 100% should get in this list. Now, I want to bunch the next two guys here on this, which is going to be Manny Ramirez and Alex Rodriguez. Of course, what do these two guys have in common? Steroid users. Now, the thing about them is they were some of the greatest hitters we've ever seen in the game of baseball. Yes, they used steroids, but they also with dingers. They had a lot of dingers. They had a lot of tanks. And that's really fun. And the question is, you know, I think really for steroid users it is once one of them gets in, they'll all get in. So once one of the steroid users get in, I think they'll all get in. And I do expect at some point one of them is going to get in, whether it's Manny, whether it's A-Rod, it'll be interesting to see. And, I mean, you've already seen some guys who took steroids but are likable, so they haven't talked about it. I mean, David Ortiz tested positive for steroids. That's never talked about. So did Andy Pettit. Everyone knows Pudge Rodriguez used steroids, even though he was never caught. I mean, come on. The, you know, I think one of Ramirez and A-Rod get in, because obviously just looking at the stats, they're all the famers, but obviously you have to factor in the steroid usage. So I think that when these two, I think once one of these guys get in, you'll start seeing uh, Sammy Sosa get in. You'll start seeing Barry Bonds especially get in. And it'll be interesting to see, but I do think one of them gets in at some point. And yeah. Next we have Chase Utley of the Phillies. I don't think Chase Utley is at all a Hall of Famer. Maybe I'm biased. I'm a Mets fan, and obviously Mets fans don't really like Chase Utley. But, again, Chase Utley, very good player, not a Hall of Famer. I don't know I don't know why we're having these you know, very good players, but not all-time great. I feel like we're forgetting what the point of the, the Hall of Fame is. These, all-time, we're, these are not all-time great players. Chase Utley is not an all-time great player. Ian Kinzer is not an all-time great player. These are not Hall of Fame-type guys. As much as, I, as much as, you know, they're good players, they're just not Hall of Famers. So I think we're forgetting the whole use of the Hall of Fame here, but whatever. Um, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, and that's kind of it. Billy Wagner, yes. The fact that Billy Wagner is not in the Hall of Fame is an absolute disgrace to Major League Baseball and every single voter. One of the greatest relief pitchers of all time, a lockdown closer with the Phillies, the Astros, and the Mets. I don't understand what the argument is to keeping Billy Wagner out of this out of this Hall of Fame. Has some of the greatest counting stats ever. Is very high up there in ERA. Very high up there in um, save numbers as well. I, I don't understand why he's not in the Hall of Fame at this point. 
the fact that he isn't to me is an embarrassment and people should be ashamed of themselves. One of the greatest relief pitchers ever and should 100,000% be a Hall of Famer. And again, the fact that he isn't to me is disgusting and should, and the fact, I just don't understand why Billy White is not a Hall of Famer. Just crazy to me, but it's been something I've talked, I've thought for many years even before I was on this podcast as well, so. I think that Wagner is 100% a Hall of Famer and should, that should be inducted in the Hall of Fame tomorrow. So that is my fifth and final segment here, going over the 2025 Hall of Fame class, kind of previewing it and going over it. So yeah, that is my show for today, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, with the notification bell. It's really good notified when I upload, when all the other great content creators on this channel do. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content and updates. I'm your host, Sam Menzi. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see if baseball throws at us tomorrow. And, yeah, we'll be seeing you then. So thank you so much, and uh, bye. See you then. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow. Feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. Nice. I don't wanna go.